In this video, we'll be reviewing the Manet Lacing Technology Super Screw Belt Splice. This review will cover the proper sizing to fit your particular application as it pertains to strength of fastener to align to your belt's strength rating, the composite material required for your application, such as abrasion resistant, heat resistant, etc identifying the final thickness of the belt and whether or not you will be skiving the splice into the top cover, creating the proper part number for ordering based on belt strength, final belt thickness, belt width, and composite material required. The Manet Lacing Super Screw Splice is built much like a conveyor belt. The Super Screw consists of a top cover and a bottom cover. Both top and bottom covers will have textile plies vulcanized into the splice during the manufacturing process. The number of plies will depend on the strength rating of the super screw. Hardware, again vulcanized into the splice during manufacturing, consisting of washers, beveled on the edges, and countersunk in the middle of the splice for the top cover. This helps to ensure the splice will not catch on anything during conveyor operations. The bottom cover consists of a threaded nut with spikes that anchor the nut into the bottom cover and plies ensuring no slippage during application and or operation. As seen in this brochure, looking at the 80 series super screw, we see that the series of splice will support belt thickness of 3 16 to 13 16 up to 450 PIW rated belt, and it has two plies in both the top and the bottom covers. The thickness of the top cover is approximately five millimeters, and the bottom cover is also approximately five millimeters thick. The overall width of the splice is five and seven eighths inches. It requires 7.6 screws per inch of splice, and the screw diameter for this series is five millimeters in diameter. Note the proper number of screws will always be provided for the length of the super screw ordered. This is not something you'll need to concern yourself about during the ordering process and we'll cover the screw counts and sizes in a later section. The super screw splice supports many different strengths in any width of belt. To identify the correct splice for your application, you first need to understand the strength of belt that you are using. Super screw supports belt strengths from 200 PIW, that's pounds per inch of width, all the way up to 2000 PIW. This information is usually known by the conveyor operator and or you can request the belt spec sheet which will identify this information for you. An example would be a request for 3 ply 330, 1 quarter by 1. This tells us the strength of the belt is 330 PIW. So you'll need to match the super screw series to this belt strength. In this case, you would go with the 63 series because it's specified to support up to 360 PIW belt. It is also important to understand the size of the pulleys on the specific conveyor you are working on. As noted in the brochure, there are minimum requirements as it pertains to the series of super screw and the diameter of the pulley on your system. Using the example of the 330 PIW belt, we now know that the correct series of super screw is 63. We also now see that the minimum pulley diameter for this series is 8 inches. The super screw splice comes in a variety of composites to fit all of your application needs. Versions available are abrasion resistant, heat resistant up to 392 degrees Fahrenheit, very low temperature down to minus 58 degrees Fahrenheit, oil resistant which is also good to 248 degrees Fahrenheit, fire resistant and anti-static, this is also MSHA approved, white FDA USDA approved cover with stainless steel inserts and screws. Note this is available only in 48 inch lengths. 
and anti-magnetic, which comes with screws and inserts made of non-magnetic stainless steel. The thickness of the belt is determined based on the overall gauge of the belt, if not skiving. This thickness can vary from the spec sheet if the belt has been in use for a period of time as the material will wear down the top cover. It is always best to measure the belt to determine the actual thickness of the belt. If the conveyor system is running wipers, cleaners, or scrapers, you will need to skive the splice into the top cover to create an even surface with the top cover of the belt once the splice is installed. This process will ensure that the splice does not get caught up in your belt cleaning system during operation. We will demonstrate one method of skiving in our super screw installation video. The super screw splice will come to you with the top and bottom sections attached with a screw and a spacer separating the two about every fourth hole in the splice as seen in this picture. The final thickness of the belt will determine your spacer size. This spacer will provide the needed separation of the top cover from the bottom cover to allow the splice to be slipped onto the belt during installation, maintaining alignment of the screw holes on the splice. The size of this spacer will also be used to determine the correct screw length to be used. We want to ensure the screws are the proper length to go through the top cover, through the belt, and into the bottom cover with minimal exposure through the bottom cover of the super screw. This will ensure once installed you have the appropriate grip between the top cover, the belt, and the nut in the bottom cover. You can reference this screw count guide if additional screws are requested. Using the earlier example, we have a 3 ply 330 1 quarter by 1 16th belt that is 42 inches wide. We will skive the belt due to the cleaning system on the conveyor and the application is aggregate. So we will be ordering a 63 series super screw which meets the 330 PIW rating of the belt. The final thickness after skiving will be 1 quarter inch Referencing the screw guide, we see that the spacer size needs to be 6 millimeter, and the screw size will be 5 by 12 millimeters. This gives us the final order number as follows. 63-6-42 AR, or abrasion resistant. Superscrew also performs well in repairing belt holes, linear rips, and edge damage. In a repair situation, you can typically drop down a series of super screw. For example, if your belt requirement calls for a 63 series splice, you could drop down to a 35 series for this repair. It is recommended to contact your MLT representative for final sizing in these situations. All literature referenced in this video is available for download at www dot tcarsonco.com